are recording. Are we? Yeah. All right. Hey, whoa, I better keep my hands on the wheel. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, hey. Uh, welcome back. It's been a little bit of a delay, or it's kind of been a while. Yeah, it's been I a minute. I guess you could say. It's, it's been, been a minute. minute, yeah. We're feeling a little rusty with this. Yeah, we are. I, I kind of forget what it's like to talk to you. I don't even think you got the camera on me, do you? Yeah, oh, yeah, you. there it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. We can see you. Cool. Welcome, guys. Mark here from Back to the Media, along with my beautiful, lovely, gorgeous wife. Oh, gosh. Danny. She's lying. <laughs> she, she puts her makeup on for record collection picks, you know? I do. Just to let you know. Yeah, <laughs> because if not, it's bad. Yeah, no, it's not. It's fine. It's good. Anyway, guys, we're heading up to Pennsylvania today to look at a big record collection. Um, apologies on just not having much content up. We've been so crazy busy with the new store. Tell them about the new store. Oh, man. Tell them about the new store. We moved into a bigger space, and it's amazing. We literally moved from 400 square feet to... How big is the new small town? It's like 2,000 square feet. Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's massive. Huge. Yeah. Um, we, it's a big upgrade. Yeah. We ended up... Um, moving everything over at the beginning of the year, January, December, January. And we've just been so swamped with that. Um, getting the store to where it needs to be. And it's still not where it needs to be yet, but we're working on it. But we've missed you guys. Um, we still get so many comments rolling in on all of our older videos. So it's always a constant reminder, like, gosh, we got to pump out some new content for you guys. So... We so we got the day off today. Yeah, we got the day off. Our kids are at summer camp. So and we what? got an employee work in the shop, stores yeah. open, business normal business hours. We're yeah. seven, we're seven days a week now, guys. We are at the shop seven days a week. Seven days. That was another thing that changed when we got the new location. Is we're we went from five days to seven days, so you can see us all week if yeah. you want to. But it also makes less time for us to get awesome videos because we're working all the time, especially this one right yeah. here. Yeah. But uh, also, we're assembling like a new staff and everything, and hiring more people, yep. and um, trying to get coverage at the shop so we can go out and get videos like this, and yep. go out and buy big collections for the store, and film, you know, film it. So here we are today. We're heading up to Pennsylvania. I think yep. I already said that, but that's yep. where we're heading. And uh, the guy's got 650 records. He says. So we'll see if that's he true. Said, he says his words, all good stuff. All good stuff. He said all it's all stuff. mostly rock, he said. Yep. Um, he said everything from ACDC to ZZ Top. Rush, he so mentioned that Rush. Good. He mentioned Rush. Kicks. Um, the kicks. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. So hopefully that pans out and the offer makes sense and we end up uh, filling the back of the van. It's empty right now, as you can see. Yeah. Um, we'll hopefully fill we all those crates up with records. So, have some good stuff to show you guys. Yeah. Stick with us. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Wish us luck. All right, we pulled over to uh, check our phones and check this address out. We're getting close. Wanted to show you our uh, selections of music for the trip. This cargo van that we bring out, it only has a CD player. So uh, we usually grab like a stack of CDs from the store or something from our personal collection of music. We got lots of CDs. We got lots of CDs, lots. Danny says. Lots, lots of CDs. Yep. So <laughs> randomly this morning, Tell us, guys, in the comments, what, what would you be playing right now? We we started with Slightly Stupid, actually. We put yeah. that in because uh, I hadn't listened to this since it first came out. Like, so good. 2000 and what year was this? 2003. Wow. Dude, I remember we when We graduated you, in 2004. Listen, I remember when you got that. Long time ago. And we were listening to it in your car. I remember getting it because I'm a huge Sublime fan. We're, and we're like, around. We were hoping that this was like as close as you can get to Sublime, and it kind of is. <laughs> but I remember when it came out, my the bass player of the band I was in, he was like, this ain't like Sublime at all. This is crap. And now the same guy, which I still know to this day, 
is like one of the biggest slightly stupid he fans ever now <laughs> he's like a huge fan and i was like bro i was like he was dissing this when it first came out but uh it's pretty good i mean it's, it's not a bad album a lot of good tracks on there so we grabbed that grab grateful dead what would you put in first guys if you were road tripping with us today george Strait. hey we like some country here and there right Ew. We ain't hating. We ain't hating. 22 oh. more hits. It's like, if he didn't already have enough hits, here's 22 more because he's just the man, apparently. The king. All them hits, but I don't think he wrote a single one, which is pretty funny. Wild. <laughs> Country's wild like wild. that. MXPX. Magnified Plaid. You guys remember this? Which Would you put this in today? I might have to listen to this. Does that punk rock show on there? I think it does. Oh, yeah. Number four. Punk rock show. Play. Um... Ozzy, this was in our store for $4.99. <laughs> we grabbed it. <laughs> Cop that. Dwight, hey, as I said, we ain't no stranger to the country. I need this album, actually. I think this is pressed on vinyl. Oh. And uh, this is quite valuable on record. I need this record. I have his other ones, but I don't have this one. Kiss Unplugged. Uh, I haven't listened to this a whole lot, but I hear that it's actually really quite good. So we'll check that out. I've listened to it before, like the whole thing, but just not a lot. We grab Queen, Live Magic. Again, guys, let us know what you'd be putting in the old CD player first. Tupac, Greatest Hits. This is excellent. I've listened to this a lot. That's why the CD's all, case is all crushed up. <laughs> it's been like thrown around on the floor of a car for a while. Uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Somebody was selling that for $2. Look at that. Second and Charles. A, God, I love that album. Second and Charles is giving that away. That has my favorite Smashing Pumpkin song on it. I probably have like five copies of this, but for two bucks I had to grab a, a fifth or yeah. sixth you copy. You know what my favorite song is off In case that? if I lose my other ones. What's my favorite song on here? <sighs> you know which one it is. Porcelain. Uh, Porcelina of the Vast Oceans. Porcelina of the Vast Oceans. It's my, that's it. one of my favorite Smashing well, that's Pumpkin it. songs. I, I, mean, I was going to say Porcelain. Porcelain. You were on the right track. Um, I feel like I got this at Circuit City back in the day when they were still a thing. Oh my god. Maybe it was Best Buy, but I kind of feel like it was Circuit City. I used to go to Circuit City all the time. Good stuff. Social D, great album. I feel like I just got the music on vinyl press of this iconic album. We might have to put that in soon, too. Yeah, that might be next. We'll one. see. Oh, man. Danny's got an OG press of this on yep, vinyl. I do. I still have to post my Cure collection, guys. I haven't forgotten about that. Yeah, she hasn't forgotten about the Cure collection. She'll get it posted. Yep. You ready to go see these records? I am. We're getting close. We're, the, we we're within 10 miles. In. If we put this in, I'll cry, though, because there's... Well, we better not put that in, because your makeup might run. I don't want my letter... I mean, my makeup to run. A letter to Elise. <laughs> A letter to Elise. <laughs> this is the one that makes you cry. Good stuff, guys. What would you put in? Let us know in the comments. This is all we got. Actually, well, I, I do got a couple other CDs. We have more. Uh, I got a couple, like, stashed away in here. Yeah. But uh, this is all we got for today. Yep. So those are your selections. Uh, we did this one other time on our Facebook page, and somebody's like, wouldn't listen to any of them. Well, good. <laughs> don't. It's like, dang. Jesus. He's like, is this all we got the pick from? Somebody's like. You kids and your Spotify, you're all spoiled. Somebody's like. I, spoiled. Somebody commented, I listen to the radio, and I never listen to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dang, we missed the mark on that. Oh, God. Can't please everybody, yeah, clearly. Can. I mean, you know. We listen yeah. to everything, guys. Absolutely. 100%. But uh, there might be something in here that you guys like or don't like. But uh, let us know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go see these records. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, that's I a great one, though. There's some great stuff in here. This is, this is a record collection that I've always been proud of. Um, this is great. I, I, Like I said, I had two older brothers. They influenced me a lot. When it comes to music, when I was a little nine-year-old boy, a ten-year-old boy, listening to them crank Black Sabbath and Steppenwolf, that kind of influence oh, good. Cool. kind of kept me going. It's it's, it's where I, I just pursued that avenue. Right. Now you got you got some great music yeah. here. This is like got, the uh, collection dark, dark I side of the moon. Like the collection I grew up on. I remember See my what mom else I did too. Like, you, you kept the hype stickers and taped them through the sleeve. That. That's awesome. Yeah, that cool? Ain't that cool? That. Look at that. And that's not on the oh, record awesome. album. That's on the poly That's bag. on the actual poly bag. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, that's it awesome. It doesn't hurt the record album to put no. that there. Got the original concert ticket there. Look at that. 1988. 89 should be. Oh, it says 88. I'm June sure 1st, 88. 88. It was RFK Stadium. I remember that. Okay, yeah, RFK Stadium. That is awesome. 
That's cool stuff. Yeah, I kept all the little. You call them hype stickers? They call they're, they're, yeah, they call them hype stickers. Is what they call I'm them. We're big on hype stickers. Yeah, we're big on hype stickers. That's why I have so I like many them. copies of Fleetwood Mac rumors because <laughs> ah, anytime, yes, anytime there's like a certain hype sticker or a texture on the jacket, I'm like, all right, I need that. I don't remember if mine has them. The stickers on them or not? Jimmy Page Outrider. That's pretty oh, awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Got Robert Plant oh, there. Oh, oh, all the Robert Plants. Yep. Led Zeppelin into the after. He even kept the little cardboard yeah, that, that bag. That a lot of people, bag. Lo yeah, a yeah, lot of people that, lose that bag. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Oh, that Zeppelin, physical graffiti. Look at that. So good. That's in such nice. See where my, Look at that. My, Houses uh, of the Holy. Yeah. I kept them hype stickers there. The dire yeah. that contains the hit single Dire Maker. That's amazing. Great one. Very cool. I that, do that with as many of my record albums as I could. That's very cool. I bought a collection about a year ago, and uh, there was a sealed copy of this. Never been opened. Still had that sticker on there right there. <laughs> and I was like, man, I, I kept it from my collection. I just put it in there. Because mm -hmm. we got, in our own collection, we got a couple thousand records, too. And well, you we, uh, had some. Yeah, no, I, I see these. a few in here already that I'm, that I'm already Robert, digging on. The Robert Plant <clears throat> albums and the Jimmy yeah. Page, yeah. I'm like, oh, And oh. some of them are just in better shape than the ones I have in my collection. So I'm sure there'll be a couple upgrades out of here. Like I, say, I, I, I was smart. I, the police. I saw this early. Wow. The, these poly bags. Yeah. 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 The, That's the way to do it. See all this stuff right there? Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it keeps yep. it fresh. Yep. Keeps it fresh. Keeps that ring wear off the actual jacket. That's a Primus record? You got a Primus up in here. Oh my god. Look at saw that. Them live. You seen them, man. That's awesome. Dude. That that is is sweet. I saw Primus uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, she's seen it two years ago. Yeah, Wild Slayer. before two years ago. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is probably. I know. She's got a story to tell you about this. This album's not that old. It's right. Green Dog Hide. That's right. It came with a CD. Okay, okay. You, you thought it was a $25 package. You got the the record album right. and the CD. And the CD. Wow. I bought that That's at awesome, the concert. Man. At the show, huh? Yeah. That's wow. Awesome. It was a little bar in D.C. It was stand-up only. Okay. No, no seating. Right. Fillmore. Yep, yeah, at the, yeah, at the Fillmore. Fillmore. Yeah, Silver Spring, Maryland. Yeah. Yep, yep. Dude, that was a great show. September 1st. I, I just love Prime. 2011. That was 2011. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's cool. amazing. Got some great stuff. Look at all this queen. I'm gonna get ready to pull out here. Oh man! Show the, show the camera some queen. Look at that. Our eight-year-old son. Keeping okay. those hype stickers too. Or he's that. nine now. Queen is one of his favorite sure. bands Check of all that time. Album. Pull that out. Has it got the poster? Got the poster? <laughs> I think I put the poster back in it. It used to be on my wall when I was a kid. <laughs> might have to edit. Oh, might have to edit, edit, edit our video yep. out here. Yep. That's it. It's yep. all a little ripped up. It's it. There oh, she is. Yep, there Ooh. she is. <laughs> I used now, to have that on my wall. I used to drive my parents crazy. Oh, I bet. Yeah, all the women on the bikes. So funny. I was sure I put that's that back. News of the World. That's our son's favorite album. He's yeah, nine. He loves that. Queen. Uh, Spread Your Wings is his favorite Queen song. That's a great, that's a great track, he yeah. He loves that yeah, song. That's all in 1981. They were my first really big international band that I saw. Oh, wow. I mean, I had saw Crack the Sky like 10 times ten already times, before yeah. that. Saw other little Baltimore bands. I, I actually saw a band called Beatlemania. That's These interesting. Guys dressed up, looked like the Beatles, yeah. sung like the Beatles, played yep. like the Beatles, but weren't the Beatles. They were kind this of like a cool. tribute band, I guess, like um, a tribute yeah, band. I talk to you about yeah, this. I was gonna say that's wow. some kind of bootleg. This or something. is their 1977 Copenhagen tour. Okay, this is a bootleg. Yeah, and and I've never seen this. Wow, I don't know that if you're cool. familiar. That's cool. 77. I don't know if you're familiar with a store called Record and Tape Traders. They used to be yes. Very yeah. popular in Baltimore. Yes. Yep. This was $150 on their wall oh, back in man. 1978. Gee whiz. I paid 35 bucks for it out of a guy's trunk and it was still in the store. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Oh, Beautiful. Man. I Beautiful deal. so bad. I'm that, sure that you did. did me a favor. <laughs> he, he ran a record store and I used to go there all the time and spend my money. And he owed me a favor. And he he took me out in the parking lot and opened up the trunk of his car. Sold him out of the trunk. Back, I said, sold. <laughs> sold. Uh -huh. There you go. Money fast enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, see, this is something that will go in our collection and be cherished. One hundred percent. Because I, I don't have, I don't have this Open one. That back up again. I got most of Queen's records, but I don't have. I've never seen right. this one. There is a list in here. I'd love to spend this, man. The one, the the um, Roxy Music bootlegs yeah. that they did. <gasps> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah, they yeah, were before they busted. Right. God, Lou Reed, Eddie Smith, oh. Jimi Hendrix, Black Sabbath. That's awesome. There's a there's their studio where they yeah, did look all the at recording. That. Yep. Fantastic! That Look at that. Rarity. That is a cool That's piece. That is a super, super that rare. That is a cool album. piece, yep. man. I don't know what it's worth today. I know what it was worth back in '78. No clue, right off hand. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but it's oh, worth nice. it. Oh, nice! Absolutely. I'm, so I'm sure. So many. All I'm the sure. good Look Queen albums. You got all the Look good Queens. 
Good stuff, man. Gary Puckett. Gary Puckett. Have you ever played that album? I have not. Oh We've never listened to that. i got to check that, that out. That's, that's one we can, that, we'll, we'll listen to as well. Collection. We okay, probably will. Probably. <laughs> oh, that's a great album. We got the... Uh, that shit goes way back to my, my older brothers. We're, re we're record crazy. Gary Puckett. <laughs> That's awesome. So Gary we got, we got Queen oh, the nice. Gang. That's the tour that I saw them on. Oh, look at that. You got a, oh, it's a yeah, white, a white label promo. Yeah, it's a white label promo. Another one yep. bites the dust well, single. GP, another yeah. one bites the dust. That's I bought that sweet. back in the 80s. That's pretty 80s. neat. Pretty sweet. That's got my oh, Live Killers. Oh, oh yeah. Look. Oh. There's my Man, 1980. Yeah. Look at that. That is so that cool. Tour is in there. So cool. Tour book's in the back, huh? No, it's inside. Oh, it's inside of it. Okay. You open it up. You'll yeah. See the I don't, there it is. I don't blame you wanting to keep Official your tour books, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. How cool is we'll that? We'll go ahead and set that out because you're going to want to hang on to that yep. anyway. Well, we're going to go Official through program. them because I can't remember every one. Okay. It's okay. Got tickets and tour books and blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah. Very cool, man. That is just awesome. And Polly Bags was one of the best things I ever did to this record. Ever. Absolutely. Kept, Absolutely. It kept them nice. Yep. Kept them real nice. I, I, I buy a lot of collections where they don't keep them in the bags and they get all messed up. And it's, Those things weren't it's unfortunate. cheap either. I, I spent a small fortune on Polly Bags. That's, oh. great. That's the soundtrack with Queen doing it. I love I actually that. Seen the movie. On, I loved it. I haven't seen that. Seen it in the I haven't theaters. seen it. Look at Hot Space. You got them all. Nah, I don't have them all, but I got a bunch. Like <laughs> I got the works there. Another this, good one. This um this is this is a uh, oh, a real work of art treasure here. Ooh. This what is, is oh, Roger this Taylor. Is, that's right, yes. I played hell finding that on C D. Yes, this is uh Fun in space. Yes, that's right. Yep, he was from Queen. He had a solo album or something, yeah. didn't he? That is one. Yep. Here's another one. Ah Strange Frontier. I have not listened They're to these. They're both really good, but fun Very in space. Cool. I tell you what, out of all these records, fun in space is one of my favorites. One of your favorites, okay. My god, the wow. songs on that. Oh, you were going to love out. that album to the point where you're not going to want to get rid of it. That, I, with Jerry Rapp. Yeah. Okay, one of, all about I one. love that <laughs> album. That but, was barely played. That thing's oh, like brand new. That's awesome. Rat, they're one of my favorite bands. I love bands. Rat too. Steven Pierce, he's a rock and roll. Oh, God. Baby. I Mario love Speedwagon. him. Love him. We got Kenny Rogers in the house. Diamond Dave. Uh, Diamond Dave. He had two. Yeah, that one and this one. Skyscraper. Yeah, Skyscraper. That's right. That was his other yeah. one that he had. That's a that's a pretty good that's album. A cool one, yeah. That's awesome. Little Diamond Dave. And then you got this one. That's right. Eat him and smile. <laughs> yep. Nice. Now you're getting into the cream de la creme. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. This is the Rush oh, stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, Rush, I was buying Rush albums in 1978, and I religiously bought one every time he came out with one. I think you got them all. <laughs> like the whole uh, there. Uh, missing a couple? <laughs> there's a couple I'm missing. There are newer ones. The older ones I have every one. Okay. Yeah, I was going to sing with all these. I think he likes this one because they do a song with... Uh, yeah. They do the song with um, Amy, Amy, Amy Adams. Or, or Amy, Amy... Amy something. Oh, oh, Amy. I know. Oh, shoot. Till Tuesday, Amy... Um, uh, it's, 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 that's a good song. Oh, I know I her. I, I love... I love her, and yes. that song is so good. Is good it's song. so mm, good. It's red vinyl, that's awesome. Oh, no, I remember that everybody. Out, that look at that. That is that is a ten inch EP. Every... Oh, okay. And it's on red vinyl. Oh, nice. I've never seen this Amy either. Man. Amy Man. Amy Man. Amy Man. Right. Yeah, that's, that's it. her name. I We've had. It. Um, I was at a Goodwill one time. That is a piece of piece of history. Grace that's Under awesome Pressure. Right I love yep. that and one. It's also in the Grace Under Pressure album. Yep. <laughs> there was um. At this Goodwill, I was at flipping through records one time, and there was a Till Tuesday album there, and I was flipping time through. Time stands still. That's the song yeah. that he does with her. Yeah. And I, I was flipping it. through it. I didn't really think anything of it, but I looked on the like I just pulled it out, and I looked at the back. Just look at the track list on the Till Tuesday. It was fully signed by the whole band on we the should, back. We should have kept like, it. What? We and it was only a dollar, and I picked it up. Because and, uh, I ended up loving yeah. that album. I love that album. And uh, getting their stuff signed is pretty oh, hard to get. So spheres. it was it was neat to see. I have. Tell you great rush look at all that they have exit was that there's, the there's exit stage left in there too that's a great live album right there. absolutely I yeah, so great so this is a good one i love this part. album <laughs> i got this one actually i don't think we have program. that one i feel like we do but i don't think ours is in this good a shape or if we do no. i don't remember where it's, it's at gonna be an upgrade <laughs> right pack Everybody uh, always made fun of like that era of Rush because it was when Getty didn't have the bass and he played like the keyboard instead. Yeah. And well, but I'm like, that was evolving. that was such good stuff though. Yeah, it's it's that's what the, the record company didn't get. That right. Rush was some a band that was had so much. Talent. They were so unique they, they too. They were constantly evolving. Their yep. music never stayed the same. When they put out Caress of Steel, everybody 
thought that album bombed. Yep. You, no. No, that's a great album. It's an excellent album. It's in the Scorpions, oh, the too. Yep. Yeah, 1984, <laughs> Scorpions. Tour book. Yeah, the tour book in the back, too. Yes, Look sir. at that, man. That's great. That's awesome. When you get Good to stuff. this stuff, you may not recognize this band. Star Castle? Um, yeah. I've had their records before, but I've never really quite listened to them a lot. If you like, <laughs> if you like bands Santana. like... Santana. I love Santana. Oh, this is all Saga right there. Yep, yeah, Saga. If you love bands like Yes... So like a progressive mm -hmm. rock band. Absolutely. Give Star Castle a play. Those I love 10cc too. Oh yeah, I have one album for them. Starship and we got Star Castle. Okay. Star Castle was fantastic. That's I've heard that's of them. All their albums right there. That's everything they did. I yeah, think we've crazy. had Citadel. Yeah, I think that's we have one too. of their best. Mm -hmm. You should really play that. Stuff. I'm gonna yeah, listen. I'm gonna, gonna listen to it. The wooden nickel. If Very you cool. The wooden nickels, which I do. You're holding on to 24 karat gold. Though. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. I have uh, never seen this one before. I've had this yeah, one before, but I don't know if it was on the wooden nickel or That's not. That's the one with Lady on it. Okay, okay. Was Paul, uh, was it, uh, was he in the band at the time? Um, Who? Not Paul. Uh, John Karolewski? Who am I thinking of, Danny? Uh, Diano. Uh, Dennis DeYoung. Dennis yeah, Dennis DeYoung. Yeah. yeah. I, I keep saying Paul Diano. That's from Meyer Maiden. No, but yeah. <laughs> John Karaluski was on these records. These are before they picked up Tommy Shaw. Okay. God, that's who it yeah. was, yeah. What just happened? Did we leave empty handed? Nope. What does it look like? <laughs> we loaded them up. We got the records, guys. We, we got the records. We got them. Super nice dude. Oh, man. Great collection. He Cannot was wait awesome. to show it to you. Um, now we're driving back on these windy Pennsylvania roads. Man, that guy was going fast. He, he was good. going fast. It looked like he was going like 100 Every, miles Okay, hour. listen, <laughs> what is up with all of y'all here in Pennsylvania? Just yeah, flying. flying. And passing a lot of us. A lot of potholes, too. Listen. But we're used to that because we're from West Virginia. We're so from we, West Virginia and our roads aren't kept that nice either. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, you guys are crazy drivers. I mean, we're going, you know, a little bit over the speed limit. We're not, you know, grandpas here. Oh, there he is. But... Everybody's passing us. Like, come on now. Okay, what are you doing? Good. Make sure you're zoomed out there. I'm zoomed out. I just hit the front big right there. Well, I got a big head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to lean forward to hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, guys, it was a great collection. It was uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Mostly rock. Actually, almost all rock. Um, some great stuff in there. Ooh. Talking Heads was in there. Prince. A lot of Kiss, keepers. Van Halen. If it, was, if it was a big band from the 70s or 80s, it's pretty much represented in this collection. And uh, looks, looks looks really nice. We'll be happy to show them to you. Yep. Super nice guy. All of his his original albums, a lot of these he's had since he was like a preteen. Yeah. So. Come on, film here. Hold it. We stopped and got ice cream. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Grape nut. And Play-Doh. Play-Doh. I kid you not, guys. Grape nuts pretty darn good. I don't, it's like, not a lot of people talk about this grape nut stuff. No, grape nuts And good. I don't know if it's like a Virginia I or a Pennsylvania thing, but we see it everywhere down here. I just tried it. Um, this is a cool little place called Gordon's. Hold on. You ready to tell me when you're going to and I'll go ahead and like take a bite. Like I'm just sitting here just like enjoying it. Oh, and then whenever I say it's a beautiful day, I'll be eating in quiet. <clears throat> okay, three, two, one.